If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle on Kennedy Square. Jim Micko and Sons, 347 East Washington Street in Newcastle, can service a lot of your lawn equipment. It's jimmickoandsons.com, their website, and you can email them at jimmickoandsons at verizon.net, their phone number, 724-652-6911. Proud sponsors of Community Television in Newcastle. Good morning, Newcastle. Welcome to NCTV45's Newswatch Morning Hopefully you have that first cup of coffee. And let's get to the top stories today in Newcastle, PA. Yes, and here's a story that warms my heart. And uh, I just read this with so much happiness. On Friday, June 2nd, the Donut Days Festival in New Wilmington is back for its second year celebration, National Donut Day. The two day event begins with a donut crawl. Okay. It's it's just unbelievable. And festival on Friday, June second, from five to eight. The festival includes live music, donut -y selfie station, the donut crawl. Listen to this donut themed games and a donut shop saturday june 3rd will begin at 8 a.m tour de donut we've been talking about that with bikes with up to a 60 mile right with periodic stops for donut eating challenge yes the event organizer wendy for and wendy i apologize is it uh explained we are really want to enhance the fun side of the donut festival so we're prepared to be a little quirky for fun from the games to the music it's not what you'd think or expect for a typical event possible games for the evening donut toss grocery cart dash donut hula and eating the dangling donut as for the music frankie Snickers, <laughs> snickered, you'll just have to come and see for yourself. We have something very special in store. Now, um, that sounds like an absolute great thing. And Bill's Bake Shop will be there. Apple Castle, Amish Donuts, Carol's Pastry, Classic Bakery, DeAngelis Donuts, okay, Freedom Farms Donuts, Dolce Mia, okay. Shop and shop and it says Donut Shop, Max Donuts, Maze Donuts, Pizza Joe's Donuts, okay. Sinkers and Suds, Sweet Classic Bakery, um, White House Farms, Two Rivers Artisan Coffee. Wendy's Ridge Dairy. It's just, it's a phenomenal event. And uh, if you don't get to that donut thing, I'm going to eat all the donuts. Now, have a great one. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Special thanks to Butts, Flowers, Gifts, and more in downtown Newcastle for their 
support and funding of this program. Butts Flowers, downtown Newcastle. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a Newcastle a try. The right small town for living. Look around. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Welcome, always good to see you, and ah, oh, summer is returning, yes. Free summer concerts return to downtown Newcastle. New Visions for Lawrence County is excited to announce the Friday Night Live summer concert series. Yes, at Riverwalk Park. For 2017, the lineup includes voices featuring Rudy Zest, Janet Filatico, and Sharon Gray, June 2nd, The River Saints, June 16th, Rock in the River, benefit concert for the Wounded Warriors of Pennsylvania, yes, July 7th, The Durrells, the 20, July 28th, and Pipe Dreams, well, they are August 11th. Casanova will be performing August 25th, and all concerts are at 6 to 9, except the Wounded Warrior concert, which will start at 5 p.m. Now, this year's um, series is funded by the Carolyn Knox Memorial Trust Fund, God's L reflecting God's light into the world. The concerts are provided free to the public through a partnership of New Visions, the Lawrence County Tourist and Promotion Agency, Daystar Marketing, and the City of Newcastle. These events will be offered each summer 2008. They've been offered since 2008 and are a wonderful opportunity to enjoy the warm weather company and friends and local talent right here in downtown Newcastle. Now, New Visions hopes that the concert goers will take the opportunity to discover downtown, head over to local restaurants, retail shops, attractions, bring your lawn chair, your dinner, and um, just enjoy. You know, it's something I've always looked forward to. We've been down there, we've filmed it, we've, we've done so many things to put it on right for you. Um, from one uh, of our food vendors, they'll be there and encourages uh, encouragement from Angie Urban of New Visions, Executive Director. These concerts are a wonderful chance for folks to live, work in Lawrence County and also play and enjoy the community. So um, just make sure if you have any questions or comments for Angie, you can call her at 724-510-1410. I'm sure she'll be glad to answer it any of those questions and we're going to return right after we hear a word from our sponsors. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop, where smiles are everywhere. Yes, summer right around the corner and the Y-Zone Summer Camp. An amazing camp experience where school-age children will build confidence, develop appreciation for community where they live while they enjoy nature walks, fun educational field trips, and many outdoor team uh, building and physical activities. Camp Activities will include swimming, field trips, art and crafts, nature hikes, sports, educational activities, and more. This is located at the Y Zone in the Shannon Township, and camp hours are 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. So um, make sure you stop out there. Now, the downtown summer child care will be a fun-filled program, also available at the Y, and they have expanded hours downtown from 6.30 a.m. 
to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. It will be located at the downtown branch. You know, you got to check out the Y for all these fun, great activities. And uh, the Y zone has many sports. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Hello and welcome once again to the Cedars Sports Corner and let's talk about some baseball. Well, the Pittsburgh Pirates begin their entertaining their three-game set, and this is the second of the three-game set against Arizona. And the Buccos find themselves currently about seven games out of first place. Now, Cleveland, up on the reservation, they got the Oakland A's. And um, Cleveland not playing too bad of baseball, and uh, we'll see uh, as this unfolds where we're going. Now, elsewhere in the major leagues, you've got New York Mets at home entertaining Milwaukee, and uh, those Yankees, they're on the road to Baltimore, while the Washington Nationals are visiting San Francisco, the Cubbies, they're out in San Diego, just to name a few. The Dodgers over at St. Louis. Now, uh, closer to home on the baseball scene, going on this week, well, you have uh, at Flaherty Field the Broadhead Bombers taking on the Downtown Jacks at 6 p.m. today, so... Uh, Make sure you get out and uh, you can enjoy some good, great baseball. Keep in mind that the Pens don't play until Wednesday. And the Golden State Cleveland Cavaliers series begins on Thursday. Now that was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we'll be right back after this. Funding for this program furnished by Big Pauly Sports Bar. Long Avenue, Newcastle. lot about the library stitchers and uh, they make some great quilts this in from Kathy Lynn Huff Taylor there's a quilt raffle the drawing is June 2nd a dollar or six tickets for five and contact Kathy Lynn or any of the library stitchers about getting and having an amazing quilt that those things are really nice. You got to check it out. Head over to the library. I know they'll have information for you. We'll be right back after this break. Today's program was paid for by a grant from Pegley's Pasta and More, East Washington Street in Newcastle. And here we go as these summer activities just keep coming up. Arts and Education at the Hoyt is beginning the magic of movies to the summer art camp, July 11th and the 28th. Each camper will explore new releases of a variety of projects ranging from drawing, painting, printing, and sculptures, puppets, and more. Week one 
which is July 11th through the 14th, is a major inspiration and fascination with superheroes on the big screen. Students will explore the evaluation of superheroes movies and create a Justice League. Now, the second week, it's Voyage on the High Seas. That's July 18th through the 21st. Students will discover mysteries of legends, pirates, and explore the talents, tools, and treasures of the trade, and take home a treasure of trove of pirate booties, including gold doubloons, <laughs> whatever, treasure maps, pirate sword, and, and, you know, it just seems to go on. Now, the third week, July 25th through the 28th, Students will imagine new technologies, experiment with materials, project a variety of art-based um, animation and film production and story development projects. And then um, as uh, launchers, puppets, and oil painting experimental art. This year's uh, cast of instructors, Stephanie Prestner, Delaney Munnell, Robert Prestner. Miss Prestner is a recent graduate of Slippery Rock where she dueled in major early childhood education with a minor in art. Miss Munnell holds a dual degree from Slippery Rock in elementary art and is a teacher at Union Area School District. Mr. Prestner, Mr. Bob, is certified K through 12 and he has a master's in history, master's of arts in history. He is also the Hoyt's education director and instructor with the Hoyt after school program. Now, um, the sessions, morning session, 9.30 to 12.30 uh, is open to groups all ages, three to five, six to eight, nine to 12. It includes lunch. Uh, ages six to eight and nine to 12 may register for a full day. That's the 9.30 to 3.30. Classes run Tuesdays through Fridays, and the Hoyt is closed on Monday. Monday. Tuition is $60 per week, $50 for members, and $120 for a full day, 100 per week for members. Now, that was a lot to get, so I suggest you call the Hoyt to clarify all those um, numbers and members and everything like that. Their number is 724-652-2882. And um, that's always been a great time. And the kids enjoy it. Now, we'll be right back after these messages. Programming provided through funding from Daimyo and Olson Law Group with offices in Elwood City and in Newcastle in the Washington Center. Daimyo and Olson Law Group. Funding provided by Four Brothers. Four Brothers in downtown Newcastle. Hello and welcome to Four Brothers 45 Weather. And, uh, well, as everybody starts easing back to work and uh, not a bad Memorial Day weekend, we had our sunny spots, we had our rainy spots, and uh, last night's overnight low of 55 with scattered showers throughout the area. How is your Tuesday looking? Well, partly sunny, a high near 75. Now, there is a 30% chance of that rain. So that threat continues as we go through, but uh, you're going to see a lot of sun. Now, uh, as we get to Tuesday night, the chance of rain goes down to 20%. And uh, an overnight low of 53 under mostly cloudy skies. Wednesday... Partly sunny, a high of 69. 
chance of rain, 40%. Wednesday night, partly cloudy, a low of 49. Chance of rain is 20%. Now, as you make your way to Thursday, mostly sunny, a high of 72. Thursday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 53. Friday, partly sunny, high of 73. And uh, that chance of rain, 30%. Friday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 54. Chance of rain is 30%. Saturday, partly sunny, high of 72. Chance of rain, 40%. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, low of 54. Chance of rain, 40%. And you can see with that, chance of rain keeps going in there. Sunday, partly sunny, 71. Chance of rain, 40%. So, you're going to be dealing with a 30, 40 percent chance of rain as you go through the week, but uh, overall won't be too bad, won't be a rain out, so uh, just hang in there. Get out, do some fun things, and stop by Four Brothers for some great food. Now, we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after these messages. This program paid for by a grant from RNA Screen Printing, located at 1217 Moravia Street, Newcastle. Funding for this program furnished by Big Pauly Sports Bar, Long Avenue, Newcastle. Welcome back, and now for some state news. Drought indicators across the state of Pennsylvania return to normal. Yes, uh, as we take a look at the Pennsylvania state map, you can see that everybody in the normal range, and uh, glad to see that as uh, we got some rain over the past weeks and things seem to have returned to normal. Now we're going to take this break. We got a whole lot more on Newswatch, so we'll be right back after this. There's more than the eye. You gotta give them a Newcastle a try. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Well, that's going to do it for this Tuesday. Holy mackerel. You know, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you soon.